The doctor who caught Ebola in West Africa was released from a New York hospital today. Dr. Craig Spencer is Ebola free and so now is the United States. He was the last patient. Spencer had a message for the nation today and here's Dr. John LaPook. Dr. Craig Spencer walked out of Bellevue Hospital this morning and into a media frenzy. After thanking the staff who took care of him, he made this plea. Please join me in turning our attention back to West Africa and ensuring that medical volunteers and other aid workers do not face stigma and threats upon their return home. Spencer has been a case study in the public's reaction to Ebola. His travel on the subway and trip to a bowling alley helped lead New York and New Jersey to establish a quarantine policy for health care workers returning from West Africa. 16 states now have some form of a quarantine. Carissa Guile traveled to Guinea with Doctors Without Borders. Now back in the U.S., she just finished a 21-day quarantine. My family had planned a trip to Cape Cod. My family member, he decided that he didn't want to come because he was afraid of me. Did you try to explain it to him? How it worked out was that he decided he preferred to stay home and not come. I don't want to make people uncomfortable. The stigma associated with Ebola is hampering efforts to control it in West Africa. Public health worker Lena Moses says it has led to a drop in local workers. If you're getting ostracized in your communities, if your family is terrified that you're doing this, you're not getting paid for it, then there's the little incentive to actually do what is necessary to stop this outbreak. A new American-built healthcare center opened over the weekend in Monrovia, Liberia. Facilities like this create a greater demand for workers. The United Nations estimates about 5,000 more workers are needed. As for Moses, she's already back in Sierra Leone. I think the people that are responding to this Ebola outbreak particularly the local staff, are heroes. And they should be applauded as they walk down the streets instead of shunned. The experience with Ebola here may help ease fears. In the U.S., only the two nurses who had direct contact with the body fluids of an Ebola victim in Dallas became infected. More than 800 others who had contact with the nine patients treated in America have remained free of the disease. Amazing courage among these healthcare workers. Doctor, thanks very much.